वेलकम टू दी चैप्टर फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल्स दिस स्लाइड प्रेजेंट्स द ओवरव्यू ऑफ द चैप्टर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर यू विल बी एबल टू एग्जामिन द सेम नंबर्स अमंग द ग्रुप ऑफ नंबर्स illustrate whether the number is divisible or not divisible by the given number identify the common multiples among the numbers define the factors and the multiples of a given number introduction in our previous classes we have already studied what are called tables if we observe the tables closely we can get to know that the same number has different multiples what are these numbers called let us find the answers to these types of questions hello children let us learn the factors here we can see the numbers from 1 to 50 on the blackboard i will make you understand the factors by yourself harita tell us the numbers starting from 2 by giving two spaces for each number 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 30 32 34 36 37 38 39 40 42 44 46 48 50 very good okay now vihari tell us the numbers starting from 3 by giving three spaces for each number 3 6 9 12 14 16 18 21 24 27 30 33 36 39 42 45 48 it's nice vihari okay pavan tell us the number starting from 4 by giving four spaces for each number 4 8 12 16 18 24 26 30 44 48 observe the numbers which are in common given by harita and vihari the numbers are 6 12 18 24 30 36 42 and 48 look at the numbers which are in common given by harita and pavan the numbers are 4 8 12 सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी टू थर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी एट Let's identify the numbers which are divisible by 2. These are the numbers which are divisible by 2, leaving the remainder as 0. If we observe the numbers carefully, the digits in the ones place are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 0. Hence the numbers which are divisible by 2 are called even numbers and the numbers which are not divisible by 2 are called odd numbers. All the numbers that are divisible by 2 are also called multiples of 2. Let's identify the numbers which are divisible by 5. These are the numbers which are divisible by 5 leaving the remainder as 0. If we observe the numbers carefully the digits in the ones place are 5 and 0. Hence all the numbers which are divisible by 5 are called multiples of 5. Let's identify the numbers which are divisible by 10. These are the numbers which are divisible by 10 leaving the remainder as 
if we observe the numbers carefully, the digit in the ones place is zero. Hence, all the numbers which are divisible by ten are called multiples of ten. Let us do an activity on multiples of numbers. Identify the numbers of the respective multiples by clicking the appropriate buttons. Now, we perform an activity on number multiple. Identify the multiple of the respective number by clicking the appropriate button. Here we see what are called common multiples. A common multiple is a number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. Let's have the multiples of two on one side and the multiples of three on the other side. Now, we can see what are the common multiples with two and three. Hence, these numbers are called the common multiples of both two and three and are also divisible by both the numbers leaving the remainder zero. Here the smallest common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. Let us do an activity on common multiples. Identify the common multiple of the number. Drag and drop them in the appropriate boxes. Here, we are going to learn whether the number is divisible or not divisible. Let's take a number as shown on the screen. Can we divide the number by 5? Or can we divide the number by 10? Or can it be divided by both? How do we identify whether they are divisible by only one number or two numbers without actual division? Here, if we observe the digits in one's place, we can easily identify whether the number is divisible by only one number or divisible by two numbers. The digit in the one's place is zero. Therefore, the number is not only divisible by five, but also divisible by ten. Let us do an activity on divisible or not divisible. Click on the buttons to check whether the number is divisible by the respective number or not. Here we discuss the factors. Okay children, Tell me the number 24 as the product of two numbers. Yes, sir. It is 2 into 12. No, sir. It is 3 into 8. No, sir. It is 4 into 6. Okay, children. Don't quarrel. All the answers given by you are correct and these are what are called the factors. Factor is defined as a number that may be obtained by multiplying two or more numbers together. The numbers that are multiplied together are called factors of the final number. Let us do an activity to find the factors. Click on the buttons which are not the factors of the respective numbers.
Let us see some exercise problems. Practice Joan. Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Solution tab to verify your answer. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. The numbers which are divisible by 2 are called even numbers and the numbers which are not divisible by 2 are called odd numbers. All the numbers that are divisible by 2 are also called the multiples of 2. All the numbers which are divisible by 5 are called the multiples of 5. But 0 or 5 must exist in one's place if the number is to be divided by 5. All the numbers which are divisible by 10 are called the multiples of 10. But 0 must exist in one's place if the number is to be divided by 10. A common multiple is a number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. Factor is defined as a number that may be obtained by multiplying two or more numbers together. The numbers that are multiplied together are called factors of the final number. Follow-up work all multiples of 10 will also be multiples of 2 and 5. Is this statement true or false? Which is the smallest common multiple of 2, 3 and 4? Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Factors and Multiples. 